when I was about 12 or 13, I started you know, listening to jazz and uh, hanging out with people who liked jazz and playing a lot of jazz, and uh, specifically in the Fife Youth Jazz Orchestra. And uh, from there, I just kind of, well, I mean, the rest is history kind of thing. This is, that's what's led me here to be a jazz musician. I've had a very lucky couple of years. I think one of the most important things was when I won the Peter Whittingham Award in 2016. Uh, and that was, that was a grant of around five, five grand. And uh, that allowed me to record my first album and put that out and, you know, kind of start my like, proper career in a way. I think my time at the Royal Conservatory of Scotland, the best thing about it was being in the scene with all the other musicians. You know, I was really lucky that my course was full of really good people. And I think Scottish jazz is like that anyway, like it's just full of people who are really dedicated and really nice and really just want to play music, you know, there's no drama or anything like that. Playing with people all the time, you know, like, a, like at least a couple of gigs a week or something, going to jam sessions all the time and just being so absorbed in a jazz kind of lifestyle was really, that was the best thing for sure. And the RCS was good at facilitating that. I remember I did a mass class with uh, Makoto Ozoni once and uh, he's uh, an unbelievable musician, you know, great jazz pianist and classical pianist. And in the maths class, it was kind of, you know, playing side by side with him and then he was giving feedback and stuff. And just to play with him, never mind him giving me, telling me, you know, what I could try working on was really special for sure. Well, when I first came to RCS, uh, I was playing a lot with the people in fourth year and um, being really involved with a lot of people that were really interested in composition uh, really helped me to kind of work on my own composing and as well like a lot there's a lot of really great players so you can always learn from them. You know I saw an, an article recently I can't remember where it was but it was something like UK jazz is killing it right now or something like that and it was all musicians from London you know UK is very London centric in the jazz scene sometimes and I think people forget that actually Glasgow scene is really great as well and I think especially at the moment it's punching above its weight for sure.